Hi everyone and welcome to Germany for Student channel. Today is the lesson number 13 of A2 level of German language course and today we are going to cover the topic of superlative form of adjectives in German language. So let's start the lesson. First we will go through some of the rules that we have to follow in order to make the superlative form of adjective. So if we have an adjective klein, which means small, in order to make the comparative form of this adjective, we have to add AR at the end of basic form of adjective. So it becomes smaller. This we have already covered in lesson number 12. And now we will see how we can make the superlative form from this adjective klein. So what we have to do is we have to add um at the start of adjective and then we have to add s-t-e-n at the end of adjective. So it will become um kleinsten. And when we can use this um kleinsten or the superlative form of adjectives, if we compare multiple things and one of the thing is the smallest one, then we will use superlative form, which is um kleinsten. Next adjective is schnell, which means fast. If we compare the speed of two things and one of them is faster than the other, then we will use comparative form of schnell and comparative form of schnell is schneller. And if we compare the speed of multiple vehicles and one of them is fastest, then we will use am schnellsten. Schön, which means beautiful. If we compare the beauty of two things and one of them is more beautiful, then we will use comparative form, which is schöner. And if we compare the beauty of multiple things and one of them is the most beautiful, then we will use superlative form, which is am um, schönsten. So we are following the same rule. We are adding am um in front of the adjective and we are adding s-t-e-n at the end of basic form of adjective. Zauber, which means clean. If we compare two things and one of them is cleaner than the other, then we will use comparative form, which is sauberer. And if we compare the cleanliness of multiple things and one of them is the cleanest, then we will use superlative form, which is am sauberesten. Hell, which means bright. If we compare the brightness of two things, then we will use comparative form, which is heller. And if we compare the brightness of multiple things and one of them is the brightest, we will use superlative form in German language, which is am hellsten. Niedrig, low, niedriger, lower, am niedrigsten, lowest. Billish, cheap, if we compare two things and one of them is cheaper than the other one, then we will use comparative form and comparative form of billish is billiger. If we compare the price of multiple things and one of them is the cheapest one, then we will use superlative form, which is am billigsten. Einfach, simple, easy, einfacher, simpler, am einfachsten, simplest. So this is one way of making adjectives superlative form. Let's have a look at another type of adjectives and see how we can make the superlative form of this type of adjectives. So if we have simple a, o, and u in German language, in the basic forms of adjective, in order to make the comparative form, that we have already discussed, what we have to do is to add an ER at the end and we have to replace A with A. So it becomes armor and superlative form can be made by adding um at the start and then S-T-A-N that we have to add at the end of the basic form and we have to replace A with A. Jung, which means young, if one is younger than the other, then we will use comparative form, which is younger and am jungsten. So here we have again followed the same rule. We have used am, 
we have added s t a n at the end of the adjective basic form and we have replaced u with the u umlaut art old alter older am altesten oldest long which means long if we compare the length of two things and one of them is longer than the other we will use comparative form and the comparative form of long is longer so we have replaced a with a and we have added an ar at the end of basic form if we compare the length of multiple things and one of them is the longest one then we will use superlative form and superlative form is am langsten warm wärmer am wärmsten kurs kurse am kursten car cold kälte am kältesten schwach weak schwäche weaker am schwächsten groß big großer bigger am größten biggest now let's have a look at the irregular adjectives and see how we can make the superlative form of irregular adjectives good is the irregular adjective which means good in order to make the comparative form we will use besser which means better and superlative form is am besten feel which means much as comparative form mehr and superlative form is am meisten hoch means high comparative form is höher and the superlative form is am höchsten so you have noticed that in order to make the comparative and superlative forms of irregular adjectives we do not follow a specific pattern or specific rule we have to learn them as it is now let's have a look at the use of uh, these superlative forms there are two different types of superlative forms the first one is where we use the superlative form and after superlative form there is no noun and the second type is where we have a noun after the superlative form of adjective so let's have a look at the difference between both of them and how to use the superlative form of adjective in both cases paul is am kleinsten paul is the smallest so here you see that there is no noun coming after the superlative form of adjective so what we have done is we have simply use the superlative form of klein which is am kleinsten because paul is the smallest now we look at the second type paul is der kleinste spieler paul is the smallest player spieler means player and now we have a noun spieler coming after the superlative form of adjective so in this case we cannot say paul is am kleinsten spieler that will be wrong in this case because there is a noun coming after the superlative form so here we have to take care of few things first is we have to see what is the gender of this noun and in which case we are using this noun so here spieler is a masculine noun and we are using it in the nominative case therefore we will use the definite article for a masculine noun which is der and second we are using the adjectives superlative form therefore we will follow the same rule that we have learned in a1 level regarding the adjective endings and the adjective ending rule says that we have to add an a at the end of uh, the adjectives so here we have used der kleinste spieler er ist am intelligentsten he is the most intelligent one now in this sentence again there is no noun after the superlative form so we have used the superlative form as we have learned earlier next example is of type where we have a noun coming after the adjective superlative form er ist der intelligenteste student now we are using the noun student therefore we have to 
see the definite article for a masculine noun because student is a masculine noun and it is used in the nominative case. Therefore, we have to use definite article for a masculine noun in nominative case. And again, we have to add an A at the end of the adjective because this is the rule for an adjective that comes for a masculine noun in nominative case. Diese Jacke ist am teuersten. This jacket is the most expensive. Sie will die teuerste Jacke kaufen. She wants to buy the most expensive jacket. Now this sentence uses a model verb wollen and whenever we use model verb, we know that we have to place model verb at the second position and we have to conjugate it according to the subject of sentence. So wollen is placed at a second position and if we conjugate it with respect to Z, it becomes will. And whenever we use model verb, the main verb comes at the last position and it remains in the infinitive form. So kaufen is placed at the last position and is used as infinitive form. Next, we see that yake is a feminine noun and it is in the accusative case in this sentence because we are performing uh, some action on this uh, object, which is yake. And for feminine noun in accusative case, the definite article is D and we add an A at the end of the adjective in accusative case for a feminine noun. Sein house is am grossten. His house is the biggest. Again, in this sentence, there is no noun after adjective. So uh, we use am grossten. Er hat das grosste Haus gekauft. He has bought the biggest house. Now in this sentence, uh, again, we are using the superlative form because he has bought the most expensive house and there is a noun coming after adjective superlative form, which is house. So we will see uh, what will be the definite article for a noiter noun in accusative case because house is being bought. Uh, therefore, it is in the accusative case. So we will use thus and we will see what will be the adjective ending in case of a noiter noun in accusative case. And the rule is that we have to add an A at the end of adjective. Diese Aufgabe ist am einfachsten. Again, there is no noun coming after the superlative form of adjective. Therefore, we will simply use am einfachsten, which is the superlative form. Paul bekommt die einfachste Aufgabe. Paul gets the simplest task. Now in this sentence, a noun Aufgabe is coming after the superlative form of adjective. Therefore, we have to check uh, what will be the definite article for a feminine noun in accusative case because the Aufgabe or the task is being received by someone. Therefore, we are performing an action and something on which we are performing an action that will be in the accusative case. So we will use D which is the definite article for a feminine noun in accusative case. So I hope this topic is clear to you now. We have seen different types of rules which we can use in order to make the superlative form of adjectives. And then we have seen the examples and we have seen both types of superlative forms uh, where we have no noun at the end of adjective and where we have a noun at the end of adjective. If you still have any questions, put them in the comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done it so. And don't forget to like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you. Bye.